apparently felt that this was a few things that I felt were important to share. I don't know how much time I'm going to have with this because I'm waiting on a bus. Otherwise, I'll lose this. Three subjects that are important. What a cyborg is, okay, how it works. What it means to upload a state of consciousness into a virtual reality prison, okay? Um, there are a couple of videos that I used to put up on my Facebook page. Um, not because every single bit and byte of data that represents every single thingle bit and byte of communication is true, okay? But what is true is the nature of how it works, okay? Of, if you will, a Borg. What a Borg is, what a hive mind is. Now, the simplest way that I know how to explain that is with a beehive. Okay, worker bees, queen bee. They obey the queen. They perform a function, right? What is that? Pollinate flowers, okay? That's a valuable function, okay? Again, we're back to the value of the function, the value of what love is, the value of what love is in living spirit, okay? That's what I call a basic benchmark baseline of who we know who we are, okay? We're living spirit. That's why our DNA is alive and living, okay? <clears throat> we don't allow anything to hold us captive, okay? Why is that? Because we represent source, the source of all creation. So you can't hold source captive. You can't upload source. So you can't upload my state of consciousness, okay? Because it's universal. It's massless, okay? You can't upload something like that. Okay. Sorry, they represent lower density consciousness, obviously. So we're higher than they are because we're aware of everything that they do. So I was aware of everything they were doing when I was five years old. All I have to do is go and look their scientific manuals. As a matter of fact, all their computer systems that they developed that everybody's now using, I saw those being developed and in place what we're experiencing right now when I was five years old. That's the future of me right now, communicating back to me when I was five, what I'm going to experience right now, okay? That's called a speed transmission. That's the speed of the communication between the future and me. That means I know what the future is. That's how it proves the past of why I experienced it at five years of age, okay? That's the benefit of being with a goddess, okay? It's also the benefit of being with Source, okay? You're not ever going to consume a goddess, okay? You're not going to upload a goddess into your machine, okay? <laughs> it's like, man, figure it out, will you? Um, so you, gotta, you do got to have a sense of humor with these characters because that's exactly what they are. They're demons. So what do you think a demon's going to do when it learns how to use computers? Like Apple. The Singularity University, NASA, which means Nazi, okay, Lockheed, Boeing, okay, all these companies that are corporations are parasites, it's parasitic consciousness, okay, so everything that they develop, everything they use with their knowledge, okay, means that they got to feed on us, they got to hold on our light, capture it in order for them to do what? Go on. The only reason they exist is because of us, okay? Because we became, we were here before they were here, okay? So we can uncreate what got created, okay? That's source. They know that. They don't want you to know that. They don't want you to know who we are. Sort of like guardians, if you will. We protect what love creates. That's the essence of it. That's the truth of it. Okay, they know that. That's why they target us. They knew exactly when we were coming in here. Okay? Ask Max Spears. Max Spears is a super soldier. They killed him too. Okay? Um, that's one of the reasons, by the way, that they were releasing all of the higher gamma radiation energy out of the nuclear power plants. Okay? And that's why the radiation is up on the planet. That's why they blew the ozone hole. That's why everybody's getting hit with ABC. Okay, this gives you the nature of who it is we decide to plug into. Because we're plugging into their energy, which is their density consciousness. Okay, 
So it's just like, get out of here. We're not giving you any more of our energy. We don't want to be a part of your system. How do you do that? Create your own place. Create your own reality. They don't want you creating anything. They want you to use us as slaves to them, which is lower density consciousness. How do you break out of that? By creating something different. How do you do that? Infinite imagination. Imagine another place that you're living in. So the more that you open up your heart and realize how creative you are, you are empowering your own energy. You're realizing the creative side of who you are because they don't have that. They're a reptile. They're not a mammal. As a matter of fact, one of the things that they do to their children is they deliberately abuse them. You know why that is? So that they're hardwired to the reptile brain, so they don't experience the mammal brain, and they don't experience what love is. So I call them, if you will, limited shelf additions. Okay? Which means pull them off the shelf. They're here for a limited period of time in the cosmos. Because the universe has got a schedule to keep, doesn't it? Because here's the bottom line. This is a classroom. And there is a schedule to keep. Why is there a schedule to keep in the lower dimension for the classroom? Because the purpose of a classroom is to do what? Produce energy service providers, isn't it? All you got to do is look around at all the stars. All you got to do is just know, by virtue of the girl on the planet, all the energy provides for everybody that's here in this classroom. How do you think she got so big? This is logic. So therefore, the purpose of a classroom is for people to learn how to become a self-sustaining, energy service provider, which means you're not a parasite. You're an energy producer. So the more energy producers in which they're self-sustaining <coughs> because they're receiving more energy of what it is that they are, that the universe is giving back to it. Now you're growing your light body. <coughs> now you become a powerful being because the amount of love that you can use through your heart in order to heal others and grow your spiritual body means you become a very powerful spiritual being. And you connect with everything else in the cosmos. Okay? You move on. <clears throat> so there's more of us. There has to be. How is the universe going to expand itself to you know, infinite experiences that are beautiful to experience if there isn't more of us? That's the purpose of the classroom. So when classroom is dismissed, bye. Okay? So anyway, my bus is here. I love you all. Have a great day.